I grew up in Detroit with, with wonderful parents and from the time I was in the second grade all the way through high school, we had music. And I think that has been significant and important in the development of many, many people who came through the school system here. I'll never forget one time in a choir rehearsal, our conductor, Miss Lenz, passed out this piece by Brahms. I can remember now being touched by How Lovely Is Thy Dwelling Place from the Brahms Requiem like I had never been touched by a piece of music before. And after rehearsal, I went up to her and I said, Miss Lenz, tell me about this piece. And she said to me, Harris, this is the first time I've ever seen you work right to your ability. And she took the piece out of my hand and she wrote across the top, Harris, and she said, this is your copy. I still use it. That's the kind of impact that the music program at that school and that particular piece, that transformed my life. At that point, I knew at that point that I wanted to be a musician. Bob Harris and many others um, represents uh, what a Detroit education is all about. And I think we need as often as possible to be able to point to other persons that represent Detroit in a wonderful way. I, I hope that the contributions I've made as a teacher and as a teacher of conducting with my students has been uh, significant. The one thing I've tried to do is to impart upon them the fact that they have to strive for excellence and, and that music is, is a vehicle for, for wonderful expression and that it deserves the very, very best that they can give. This is an opportunity to say thank you to a person who is very deserving. This city has produced phenomenal musicians, and I think it, it has a lot to do with the school system and the kind of music education we had here. I think that the powers to be have to understand the fact that a great culture is known by its arts. You know, I mean, I love sports, but arts will go on forever. <laughs>